Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the grand finale of Everything or Nothing. Today we have all the winners from the game shows that we had throughout the whole entire season. We have five winners and I will soon introduce you to them. And before we start, I'll explain to you how the first round will go. We have cars on the guessing wall. The first contestant to get two guess wrong will be eliminated from the first round. I know it's uh, quite intense and um, I can see pressure on the um, contestant faces. Uh, this is exactly what I want to see. So now, ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce you the contestants on the grand finale of Everything or Nothing. Hi, hello. Hello uh, again. Yes, hello again. Uh, to find welcome back. So, how do you feel um, coming? Uh, you, you, you were our first winner on Everything or Nothing, on the first show, the first winner. How does it feel to be back again? It feels good to be back, actually. Uh, it seems like such a long time ago as well. Yes, it, yes, it's, it's been quite, quite long. Um, I think that the set has changed. I think when you first came, we, we, we were uh, sort of trial and error kind of mm. basis. So we've evolved since then. I can see the improvement. Yeah, mm -hmm. so welcome back. Monikan, welcome back uh, to Everything or Nothing. And how are you feeling? I'm feeling good. I'm on the only woman here, actually, so. Yes, <laughs> yes. Um, well, we had females on, on our um, uh, game shows. Mm -hmm. um, unfortunately, when they came to the finals, um, they, they, they basically uh, couldn't get through. Yeah. So, yeah. But well done. You, you made it at least. Uh, Ali Ansar, welcome back. Thank you. And how are you feeling? Nervous or are you confident again? I'm confident. You're confident this time? Yes. Okay, because I remember on the first show you were quite nervous to come on the show. Yes. And, and you, were, you were confident back then that you will lose and uh, you won't be able to make it. So what's the point going? Uh, but here you are. Yes, I am. Yes, so uh, welcome back. Thank you. Uh, Gulshan? Yes. Mikhail Mehtab Gulshan, welcome back to Everything or Nothing. How, you are, how are you feeling? I'm feeling good, actually. Um, a bit nervous because one of us has to be eliminated. I'm just scared. I've got the whole family here today. <laughs> if I get eliminated, I'll be embarrassed. And they'll be not treating me today. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's hope you don't get eliminated in the first round. I hope so. Fingers crossed. Yes. Um, Saeed Hamid, welcome back. Thank so you. So, what's your <coughs> psychic mind saying today? Um, how, Ali, <coughs> how are you feeling? I think... <laughs> Like there are so many good contestants, mm. and like, uh, like Tofail, Mr. T, yes. he is like very intelligent person, yes. very knowledgeable person, yes. and all that. Yes. So I'm really worried about him now. Well, the first round is not about uh, knowledge; it's, it's about luck. luck. So I think I think um, you all have a fair chance there. Yeah. Yep. So shall we crack on? Yes. yes sure. Excellent. And now to the guessing wall. Right, Mr. T. I'll reveal the first card. It's 11. Now, your guess, please. Higher or lower? The obvious choice would be lower, so shall I go for lower? It's up to you. Go on. Lower. Make my day. Mr. T is guessing it's lower. And okay. Lower, well done. Mm hmm. <coughs> Higher or lower? Lower. Lower. Well, you're going to get in lower and in. <laughs> Higher. Ooh. Am I One up? down. <laughs> Alian Sar, higher or lower? I would say lower. Lower. And in. Lower. Well done. Gushan, higher or lower? I would say higher. Higher. In. Higher. Well done. Said Hamid, higher or lower? Lower. Lower, and it's lower. Is it well, higher or lower? Higher. Higher, and it's oh. Oh, Ooh. lower. I see. Mr. T, one down. Monikan, one down. Monikan, higher or lower? Higher. Higher, it's. Well done, oh higher. Oh my god, he's so lucky. Oh no. Ali Ansar, it's obviously going to be lower, so I'll reveal it for you anyway. Oh right. Oh my god. Gulshan, higher or lower? Don't rush me on this one. This is such a number. It's, it's, it's in the middle. Okay, now you can take suggestion from uh, the audience if you want. Possibility of lower. All the higher numbers are out. Oh, yeah, it is. 
Lowa. Lowa. Gulshan Lowa. Yes. Lowa, well done. Said Hamid. Haya Lowa. Quickly. Haya. Haya. Eight. Lowa. Said Hamid. One down. Mr. T. Haya Lowa. Maybe higher, I think. Higher, yes, definitely. <laughs> I was just checking. Oh. Right, Monikan, higher or lower? Higher. Higher, it's <laughs> lower. Oh, oh, no. oh, well, that brings us to the end <laughs> of first elimination round. Monikan, thank you so That's much fine, no for problem. coming. You played really well. Um, unfortunately, Luck's not with me today. <laughs> the luck is not on your side. That's so no thank problem. you very much for coming. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, this has brought us to the end of first round, which is the elimination round. Now see you all at round two. Welcome back to round two of Everything or Nothing. Before we start, here are the rules. The rules of the game. First, the luck and wit round. The contestants will answer a multiple choice general knowledge questions. If they get the question right, they go to the guessing wall where their luck will be tested. The first card will be revealed to them and the rest they have to guess. At the guessing wall, contestants will have to complete their row of cards one at a time by guessing if the next card in the series is higher or lower than the previous number on the card. Now we will start with Mr. T. Mr. Tufel. Um I remember when you first came on the first round, before I even finished my question, you answered. Now, I want to see you do this again, yeah? Let me see if you can do that again. Now, here he goes. Mr. T, what was unique about Steven Spielberg's modern film Schindler's List? What was unique about Steven Spielberg's modern film, Schindler's List? A. No sound. B. Black and white. C. No cuts. Black and white. Black and white. Except for one girl in a red coat. <laughs> Mr. T, at least you waited till I finished <laughs> my question. And uh, you're right. Hold on. <clears throat> Your first card, 14. Oh. Higher or lower? Chances are lower, but you never know. Mm. So you are guessing it's... Should I say lower? No. Higher, higher, higher. Ah, you're enemy. I'll stick with lower. Low. It's low. Well done. Oh, not a good number. <coughs> what is the capital city of Mexico? Is it A, Guadalajara, B, Mexico City, or C, Toluca? Mexico City. Mexico City is the capital city of Mexico. Wow, that's <laughs> so confusing, isn't it? Why, why make it so confusing? You call a city capital city of the country by its country's name, Mexico City, and you're right. <laughs> well, I, I wish it was so easy for every other city, um, yes. capital cities around the world in, in, in the country. It's quite, you know, it's quite confusing, yeah. uh, especially the capital city of uh, Australia. Everybody gets it wrong. Yeah. Anyway, Ali Ansar, your first card, number 10. <coughs> Next card, higher or lower? I guess uh, lower. Lower. And it lower. Hold on. Okay. Gushan. Which governing body oversees European football? Is it A. UEFA, B. FIFA, C. NISA. FIFA. Which governing body oversees European football? You said it's FIFA. I thought you played football. Which governing body? Which governing body oversees European football? European UEFA. The answer is UEFA. But you already answered. <laughs> no, I haven't. <laughs> That's my answer. 
I don't know what to do now. <laughs> so I, I got confused listening to your question. It's UEFA, European. I'll tell you what. I'll give that benefit of doubt. Okay. And I'll take your second answer. You're right. UEFA. The first card, Gushan. Oh, 15. My Look, he, he, he doesn't have to take a guess. His obvious is going to be lower. So, Gulshan, there you go. Thank you. <laughs> well, Saeed <laughs> Hamid, uh, in the cartoon, Dennis the Menace, what was the dog called? Is it A, Scooby, B, Nasha, C, Snowy? No, you can't look at the audience. Look at me. <coughs> Ask me the question again. In the cartoon, Dennis the Menace, what was the dog called? A. Scooby. B. Nasha. C. Snowy. I'm taking too long. The hardest question for me, actually, I don't know what's cartoon. Uh, I think B. You go for B. Nasha. Because Scooby is like Scooby Dooby Doo. Mm. So. Yeah. And Nasha, I think. And Snowy. Okay, I'm, I'll go for B. You go for B. Yeah. Nasha. Said? You're right. Oh. <coughs> First card. Lower, lower, lower. Lower? Yeah. And it's yeah. lower. Oh. What's going on? Everybody. <coughs> well, we all winners. You, you, uh, that's what I was about to say. Yeah. You're all winners and it's, it's proving on the wall. <laughs> okay, let's see who finishes. Uh, uh, now, Mr. T, how many football World Cups has England won? A, one. B, two. C, three. I wish it was three, but unfortunately it's one. It's one. Yeah. And you're right. You're wrong. Sad, isn't it? Yeah. <coughs> right, Mr. T. Next card, higher or lower? I'll go for lower, but uh, it, it could go either way. Lower? Oh. Lower! Oh, God! Well done. <laughs> Alien, sir. On the National Rail, what station is between Stratford and Forest Gate? A. Manor Park B. Ilford C. Maryland Between Stratford and? Forest Gate <coughs> Maryland Maryland Do you use a national rail? No Well, just a wild guess No, just... Yeah, well, I guess you can say. So it could have been Manor Park, it could have been Ilford, but you confidently answered Maryland. No, it will not be Manor Park. Okay. Well, Mr. Alien, sir, that's a good guess. You're right. Now, next card, higher or lower? Higher? Higher. And it's higher! Oh. <laughs> it's a bonus card. I believe it. Okay. <coughs> now, Gulshan. <laughs> now, tell me, 
What is the capital city of Texas? Is it A, Austin, B, Houston, C, Dallas? <laughs> Texas. Texas, Texas. Texas. All right, what the options are? A, Austin, B, Houston, C, Dallas. Dallas. No. <laughs> the first one, what was it again? Austin. Steven. B. Houston. C. Dallas. Dallas. I'm just going for a wild guess. Go for Dallas. Yeah. Where is it? <laughs> I think you've been watching television. <laughs> Too much. I think I used to watch that Dallas show. Yes. On TV, yeah, I, think I don't know. I've, Texas, I've never looked at, looked at it actually. Okay, I yeah. think you should go and look at it <laughs> because because you're wrong, Ushari. It's Austin. I'm Austin. Sorry. Oh. Ah. Said Hamid. How many years are there in a century? A. Ten. B. Fifty. C. Hundred. How many years are there in a century? I'm not a kid. <laughs> then you can answer this quite, um, quite quickly. Though. Quickly. Obviously, 100. It's obviously 100. And you're obviously right. Okay. Nine was your card. Next card, higher or lower? Hamid's psychic psycho mind is saying it's lower and it's higher. Oh, sad. Well, it seems like your mind is not working today, um, Said Your psychic mind is not working now. Uh, Mr. T, what does the slang word nang mean? mean? What does the slang word nang mean? A. Awesome. B. Terrible. C. Boring. Could you repeat the question? <laughs> what does the slang word nang mean? Can nang. I ask an interpreter friend? Uh, no, you can't ask him. <laughs> to translate <laughs> slang for me. He, well, he, he might end up giving the wrong answer, you see. You see. <laughs> so, A. Awesome. B. Terrible. C. Boring. I'll guess. Say some psychic power here, but please. Um, His mind is not working today. It's not. Uh, it's not this early. <laughs> okay. Let's go for terrible. The slang word, Nang. According to Mrs. T, it's terrible. It sounds well, terrible. It sounds well, Mr. T. You're wrong. It's awesome. <laughs> Alianza. Who hosts the popular intellectual talk show QI? A. Stephen Fry. B. Alan Davis. Or C. Sandy Toxvig. Hmm. I, th I thought you'll ask me that. Who hosts the popular intellectual talk show QI? Is it A. Stephen Fry, B. Alan Davis, or C. Sandy Toxvig? Never heard of it. So I have to guess. <clears throat> I would go for A. Go for A. Stephen Fry. Alianza. Oh, one more card. Mr. T and Alianza uh, sort of neck to neck on the guessing ball. Well, it seems like that it's no. going to stay that way. You're wrong. <laughs> it's Sandy. Talk to me. 
Gulshan. Okay. In basketball, mm -hmm. what is the nickname of the Chicago team? A. Panthers. B. Bulls or C. Eagles. Bulls. You didn't waste a single second after that. <laughs> but you watch, you watch basketball. No, I wear a lot of baseball caps. You. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm guessing it from there. <laughs> well. Actually, you should be glad that you've been wearing uh, baseball caps, actually. You're right. It, it, it is yes. I'll guess it's high. So you guess it's high? Yeah. Higher? Higher. Audience? Higher or lower? Higher? Has to be. Has to be. <laughs> and it's higher, oh. yes! Oh, that was close. That was close. That was close. Everything or Nothing, brought to you by Steamline Linen Services.